How about you looking at a 2001 town and country minivan? Very nice condition. Runs great. Clean as a pin inside. Definitely a non-smoker. Starts right up. Runs great. Has the V6 3.3 motor, which is the one everybody wants. Runs nicely, has a good reliability. Um, it's been it's been reliable in the past, and it runs great. See, it's nice and clean, not rusty. Now I'm looking at this van. It has some scratches on the front bumper and some scratches on the rear bumper. Must have parked somewhere where they parked front to back and uh, just you know has parking lot scratches on the front and the back of it has a power door here on the side which is great when you're moving kids in and out I, I have the same van at home myself and uh, the double doors are just fabulous for bringing the kids in and out loading and unloading it's clean as a pan in the back that not stained up like mine is where the kids are spilling everything all over it not the case here you can see the door closes by itself now the back has the same parking lot scratches right there so they must have parked behind each other now one thing I just found out on this is um, that the back hatch does not open doesn't do anything it needs a hatch repair in the back that's no big deal I just found it out today or I'd have probably had it fixed by now but I need to put it online and uh, sell it that's what I do so I'm selling it like that this door this door here does just goes on its own not power but closes fine Now one thing I wanted to tell you, this car, I, I go up in Pennsylvania once a week and I, I look for, I get some trade-ins from the new car dealers. That's what this one is. I want to see the one that was inspected. I can read that. Actually less than a thousand miles ago. Oh, it's good till November 2012. It says on the sticker, November 2012. Okay, oh, it has a current inspection on it, and it was only done a thousand miles ago. I was reading it wrong. So, it has a current Pennsylvania inspection. If you're from PA, it goes right on the road. Now we are um, located in Bel Air, Maryland, which is about 20 miles north of Baltimore. We're right off I-95. Uh, if you're coming from out of town, which we do end up selling a lot of vehicles out of town when they when they see us online, uh, we will pick you up at the airport at Baltimore, Washington, the bus station at um, Aberdeen, or the train station in Aberdeen. Now, looking at this car, that what I see about it, the tires are just a little weak. They have plenty, some life left in them, maybe 20%. They'll drive you home fine, no problems. Um, but at, at some point in the near future, it's going to need four tires to be in really nice shape. But they passed inspection, so uh, anyhow, that's the case. can look at the gauges here. First off, the air conditioning is blowing nice and cold. And I can feel it. It's a cool day, but still the air conditioning is working fine. Improvement in the, the radio works. has front and rear air, which is a nice thing for a uh, minivan to have the rear air. Look how clean it is back there. It's, it's just a nice clean vehicle. The gauges are good. We're very low on gas. I will put some gas in it before you come pick it up. 
has tilt wheel, cruise control, and everything works on this car. This is a no reserve auction, so please have your finances together when you bid, or please do not bid. Uh, you will need a $250 deposit within 24 hours of the auction end by PayPal or, or some other means, credit card. The balance is due within seven days. Now, you don't have to pick it up within seven days. You can um, you know, send the money in seven days. You have about 30 days to pick it up. But uh, the balance is due within seven days. If for some chance you're thinking about shipping, uh, we recommend the website uship.com, letter U, S H I P.com. It's owned by eBay. You will get your best price there. A ballpark figure is a dollar to a dollar fifty per loaded mile from, from us to you. And our zip code is 21014. 21014 if you want to uh, check that out. But this van will drive you home fine and be plenty comfortable. Go straight down the road. The only light lit there is the gas, gas light saying we need some gas and I will stop and get some before I get back to the lot. Great. Now the tachometer does not work here, but the speedometer and odometer works. That's mainly what you need to know how fast you're going and the odometer for the mileage on the vehicle. You can tell by the way this car drives, it was well maintained. In Pennsylvania they have a yearly inspection and we have found that these Pennsylvania cars, small town cars, just seem to be a nicer, more well maintained car. They're clean, they're not abused. If I could generalize that just the cars that come out of PA are just nicer cars than in most places. That's why we, I drive up there, it takes me an hour and a half each way. But I always get a couple of these trade-ins and it uh, works out nicely for the buyers and for me. If I can sell a nice car and my buyers have been happy. And the air is blowing plenty cold today. So if you're looking for an inexpensive minivan, remember the couple things with this one. The back door will not open, tachometer not working, and the scratches on the front and the back runs great, it'll run fine, it'll drive home wherever you need to go. It looks good, you don't notice those scratches until you're up close. Inside, clean as a pin. Perfect to run kids around or to transport some people. Got lots of life left in them. Uh, I've had these with 170 and 180. And sold them and the people have had them several years and been happy with them. And again, if you're from PA, it goes right on the road. So buy this uh, 2001 Chrysler Town & Country LX.